So now for parts D3 of question one, um, we're looking here for the weaker base for part D. So we just leave um, our molecules as they are. We don't have to deprotonate when we're comparing bases. So we look at the carbon with, or I'm sorry, the atom with the negative charge on them. So here we have a negative charge on carbon and a negative charge on nitrogen. Now, normally we would say that nitrogen better stabilizes negative charge than carbon because it's more electronegative. But here, this carbon is sp hybridized, whereas this is sp3 hybridized. So this is where uh, percent s character comes to play. So percent s character trend, um, sp hybridization has a higher percent s character than sp2 and then higher than sp3. So actually this would be our weaker base. Um, choice one, my marker. Choice one would be a weaker base. And that's because um, a higher percent S character stabilizes the negative charge better since electrons are held more closely to the nucleus. So that would be our answer, choice one. Then looking at part E, now we're comparing acids. So in this case we do have to deprotonate. So benzoic acid is um, a starred molecule that everyone's required to know. So first thing we do is we deprotonate um, and then we compare the atom that was just deprotonated from. So here we both have, we have two oxygens so um, size and electronegativity isn't going to make a difference. And then um, we have resonance through this carbonyl in both cases. But here we have a different neighboring group. Um, we have oxygen as our neighboring group. And what oxygen does is it can resonance, also resonance donate through the carbonyl, <coughs> thus localizing charge. So oxygen is, a res is resonance donating. So it can localize charge, thus making this conjugate base less stable. So if this is less stable, the conjugate base, that means its conjugate, as or its conjugate acid is weaker. So therefore, benzoic acid would be our choice as our stronger acid.